What is osteoporosis, and why should you be concerned about it? This comprehensive guide aims to shed light on this bone condition, its causes, symptoms, and how you can manage or prevent it. Osteoporosis is a medical condition characterized by weakened bones that become fragile and prone to fractures. It occurs when the density and quality of the bone are reduced, making it porous and brittle. The condition can affect anyone but is more common in older adults, particularly postmenopausal women. Understanding the risk factors for osteoporosis is crucial for prevention and early intervention. While some factors are beyond your control, such as age and genetics, others can be managed through lifestyle changes. These are some of the key risk factors. 1. Age. As you age, your bones naturally become less dense and weaker. This is especially true for women after menopause and men over the age of 65. The older you get, the higher your risk of developing osteoporosis. 2. Gender. Women are at a higher risk of developing osteoporosis, primarily due to lower bone mass compared to men and hormonal changes during menopause. The drop in estrogen levels during menopause accelerates bone loss, making postmenopausal women particularly vulnerable. 3. Family history. If you have a family history of osteoporosis or fractures, your risk of developing the condition is higher. Genetics play a role in determining bone density and a family history can be a strong indicator of your own risk. 4. Hormonal changes. Apart from menopause, other hormonal changes can also affect bone density. Conditions like hyperthyroidism or the long-term use of corticosteroid medications can lead to bone loss. Even hormonal treatments for cancer can increase the risk. 5. Lifestyle choices. Poor lifestyle choices can significantly contribute to the development of osteoporosis. A diet low in calcium and vitamin D, lack of physical activity, and habits like smoking and excessive alcohol consumption can all weaken bones over time. Before we continue, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. 6. Medical conditions and medications. Certain medical conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, celiac disease, and some kidney diseases can increase the risk of osteoporosis. Additionally, Medications such as corticosteroids, some anti-seizure drugs, and certain cancer treatments can also affect bone density. Osteoporosis is often termed a silent disease because it can progress without any noticeable symptoms until a fracture occurs. This makes early detection challenging. However, there are some subtle signs and symptoms that could indicate the onset or presence of osteoporosis, being aware of these can help in early diagnosis and treatment. 1. Back pain. One of the earliest signs of osteoporosis can be a dull ache in the lower back. This pain can be due to fractures in the spinal vertebrae, which may occur even without any significant trauma. If you experience persistent back pain, especially upon waking up, it's worth discussing with your healthcare provider. 2. Loss of height. A gradual loss of height over time can be a sign of osteoporosis. This occurs due to the compression fractures in the spine, leading to a stooped posture. Regular height checks during medical exams can help monitor this symptom. 3. Stooped posture. A stooped posture, often referred to as dowager's hump, is a more advanced symptom of osteoporosis. This occurs when the bones in the spine, called vertebrae, begin to collapse, causing the upper back to curve forward. 4. Frequent fractures. If you find that you're experiencing fractures more frequently and from minor falls or injuries, this could be a significant indicator of osteoporosis. Bones weakened by osteoporosis are more susceptible to fractures, particularly in areas like the wrist, hip, and spine. 5. Brittle nails and receding gums. While not direct symptoms of osteoporosis, brittle nails and receding gums can be indicative of low bone density. Both nails and teeth are made of similar materials to bones, and changes in their health can sometimes mirror changes in bone health. 6. Unexplained fatigue and weakness. Muscle fatigue and weakness can be related to osteoporosis as the condition affects the bones that support muscular structure. If you find yourself tiring easily during activities that you could previously handle with ease, it may be worth investigating further. 
7. Limited mobility and flexibility. As osteoporosis progresses, it can limit your mobility and flexibility due to pain and the fear of fractures. Simple tasks like bending or lifting may become increasingly difficult, affecting your quality of life. Early diagnosis of osteoporosis is crucial for effective management and treatment. Various diagnostic tools and tests are available to assess bone health and determine the risk of osteoporosis. Here are some of the key diagnostic methods. 1. Dual Energy X-ray Absorptiometry, or in short, DEXA. The DEXA scan is the most commonly used and most reliable method for diagnosing osteoporosis. It uses low-dose X-rays to measure the mineral content in your bones, usually at the hip and spine. The results are often reported as a T-score, which compares your bone density to that of a healthy young adult of the same sex. 2. Quantitative Ultrasound. Quantitative ultrasound is a less common but portable method that measures bone density. It's often used in settings where a DEXA scan is not available. However, it's generally considered less accurate and is usually followed by a DEXA scan for confirmation. 3. Bone turnover tests, understanding bone metabolism. These are blood and urine tests that measure the levels of specific markers associated with bone breakdown and formation. While not diagnostic, these tests can provide additional information on how rapidly bone is being lost and can be useful for monitoring treatment effectiveness. 4. X-rays Standard X-rays are not sensitive enough to diagnose osteoporosis, but can be useful for detecting fractures and other abnormalities. If an X-ray shows a fracture, a DEXA scan is usually recommended for a more accurate assessment of bone density. 5. CT scans and MRI while not commonly used for initial diagnosis, computed tomography, CT scans, and magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, can provide detailed images of the bones and are sometimes used in research settings or for complex cases. Managing osteoporosis effectively requires a multifaceted approach that includes medication, lifestyle changes, and regular monitoring. Here are some of the key treatment options in greater detail. 1. Medications. Bisphosphonates. These are the most commonly prescribed medications for osteoporosis. They work by inhibiting the cells that break down bone, thus increasing bone density. Examples include alendronate, also known as Fosamax, and Rhizdronate, also known as Actinil. Hormone replacement therapy, or in short, HRT. For postmenopausal women, HRT can help maintain or increase bone density. However, it's generally not recommended as a long-term solution due to associated risks like breast cancer and heart disease. Selective estrogen receptor modulators, SERMs, drugs like raloxifene, also known as Avista, mimic estrogen's beneficial effects on bone density without some of the risks associated with HRT. Parathyroid hormone therapy, teriparatide, also known as Forteo, is a synthetic form of the parathyroid hormone, which stimulates new bone growth. It's usually reserved for severe cases due to its high cost and potential side effects. 2. Physical therapy. Physical therapy can be an invaluable part of osteoporosis management. Therapists can teach you exercises tailored to improve your bone health, enhance your balance, and reduce the risk of falls. Osteoporosis is a condition that affects millions of people worldwide, particularly older adults and postmenopausal women. While it can be a challenging condition to manage, understanding its causes, symptoms, and treatment options can go a long way toward improving your quality of life. Lifestyle changes, proper medication, and regular checkups can help you manage or even prevent this condition effectively. Thank you for watching and please click the like button and subscribe.